everyone, it is I, Snickle Fritz, and today I'm going to be showing you how I record my ST games with uh, Oculus Quest 2. Uh, the only reason I'm doing this, my friend of mine was talking with somebody on another video, just giving some advice on how I was planning on trying to do mine before I stumbled upon this method, and uh, he tried to explain to him how to do it and everything, and the guy, he requested me to do a little video just in case there was other people other than him that was trying to look for it i was like yeah sure no no problem once i definitely get time for off work and other stuff around the house I, I will do it so i finally get some free time and i'm gonna hop right onto it so basically in order for this to work you're gonna need a few things the first and main and prior like the the major one i guess that you should prioritize and get if you don't have is a pc be it a laptop or a desktop that is vr ready uh, i'm pretty sure there's a program on 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 steam that can help you realize if it is and what you can do to make it better or to get it there uh I know mine was when I bought it because it said on the box that it was VR ready. After that, of course, you're going to want to, of course, have a VR set. Secondly, me, the only one I got lucky enough to get, thanks to my dear sweet sister, was the Oculus Quest 2. So this is kind of going to be more towards tailored towards the Oculus Quest 2. Once you have that, then you're going to need a link cable. Now, a link cable you can get from different places. If you're a rich fella, a lady, and can afford it, you can get the official Oculus link cable. It is going to be $79.99 from their own website, from the Oculus.com. Or you can go to like Amazon, eBay, your favorite little online store, and uh, just search for an Oculus 2 link cable, and you can find one. I found one I have. Uh, it was... USB 3 which I would suggest you get because it's what is needed for the best connection possible and I found uh, one for $25.99 after you got all three of those it's time for the programs the actual programs that you're going to need is of course Steam and with Steam you definitely going to need to get Steam VR so once you download Steam VR then you're going to need some games that are VR or has a VR side to it like the Forest, Phasmophobia, Trover, and Subnautica, and VR Chat. They have two different ways you can play. You can play it non-VR and VR. So for the display, or not the display, but the example that I'm going to be using is Trover. Uh, if you would like to see Subnautica and the Forest in some VR, let me know. And I definitely will do a couple of videos to show that. Phasmophobia, you don't have to ask. I'm probably going to end up doing that anyway because I just absolutely love this game. I'm almost at 200 hours, as you can see. Uh, but now that you got your VR, Steam program, and your VR capable game, you're going to need, as I said, the actual Oculus desktop application, which I said before, you can get at Oculus.com. So just go ahead and go there. You'll find it. You'll download it for Windows or Mac. You know how to do all that download stuff. I'm not going to sit there and show you. You're smart enough. You're, I guarantee you because I'm not computer savvy and I, and I figured all this out. So if I can do it, you can do it. Uh, after you have that, because you need this, just because you need this program that when you plug it in, your link cable to your Oculus and then into your actual PC, this program registers the actual oculus to your pc so you can actually play those steam games then one final program is if you don't have it already is get obs and right now what you're seeing is an actual display which you're going to need to use display capture to actually make this whole thing come together now with be prepared to see a nice little tunnel vision but right down here and I'll probably zoom in so you don't have to see all this mess, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, but basically, as you can see here, I got a display capture. It's basically going to capture what is being displayed currently on your monitor. And what makes this work fantastically is most other ways how you do it. 
when you try to get your footage, your footage typically with the Oculus Quest, from what I'm seeing, is in a square format. It's not rectangle. And sadly, you can't stretch a square into a rectangle without cropping certain areas of the footage. And that was a big, big uh, thing for some people. They weren't happy that they couldn't you know, stretch it to a full, maybe like 16 by 9 or what my display would be. I don't know. Is this right here. But the glorious thing about Steam VR, it actually, when you're playing, you can't really notice it, but it actually fills out your screen, stretches it out nice, perfectly without cropping it. And it's at, at the actual display size of your monitor. So by actually using the display capture, you're capturing what is predominantly being shown on your, your screen at that time. All right, so I got the quest out and trying to get everything to kind of show you what I am talking about. Nothing has been hooked up yet, as you can see. Let's go back to the Oculus actual application on the desktop, and you will see that it is not connected, and it's not even turned on quite yet either. So what I'm going to do first, I can't show you my actual... Uh, camera is currently not working I need to get a, a new one and I'm not like rich so right now it's not gonna be no camera of me showing you but I can describe you in great detail if you're holding your quest like you're about to put it on on your left hand side what your left hand will be you'll see a side like right under the little bar where your strap is two holes one's a little dot where you can actually plug in headphones if you didn't want your Oculus's speakers pumping out everything for everybody to hear if you're trying to be nice and be quiet and have everything just for you to hear and then you'll see the USB-C connection where you charge the actual Oculus or plug in the Oculus link now <clears throat> my Oculus is already plugged into the computer so I'm going to go ahead and plug in the link into it and it's at this point not turned on now that I have it I'm gonna go ahead and Hit the power button, which is on the right-hand side, if you were looking like you're about to put it on your head, if, you know, just in case you didn't know where this stuff was. All right, slowly turn it on. All right, now, right now, for me, you can't see it. It's asking me to check for objects in the play area because I have a small area of play. Of course, there's stuff in it, but we're going to let them know it's all good. We are fine. Continue. Now it's telling me that I need to enable the Oculus link in order for my PC to be able to work with my Quest. So I'm going to say, okay, sadly you can't see this part, but you will see if you have the actual Quest. So I'm just reading what you would see as you're looking through. Once you get that hooked up, if everything goes smoothly, you should kind of be hooked up to your PC now you can see on your end on this video you should see that everything is connected through two touch controllers and the oculus itself is connected to everything in order for anything to start showing up we're going to need to go to another program which is going to be steam but real quick now I see this right here I would suggest going to down here type in sound settings bring this up because you will need to mess with these little spots right here because the oculus will take precedent whenever you start playing a game and automatically switch these over and me personally I want my blue yeti as my microphone and my razor headphones as my output but I'm gonna go here I'm gonna go to steam VR which like I said you definitely need to get we're gonna launch it and I gotta try to remember now <clears throat> you should see through your headphones it's telling you that it is loading Steam VR. It should switch from the matrix room to a big circle room, saying that Steam Home is loading with some mountains in the background with some pretty aurora colors in there. Then it should pop up with your apps. Right now you're not going to see that. With yours, you'll probably see little things as now playing Steam VR. If you want, go ahead and minimize that. Now let's go to here. As I said, it switched to that. We don't want that. So let's go ahead and switch this back to what we're planning on using for our output and our input sound wise. That's the VR Steam VR thing, just so you know. Now, this is still recording. 
so we're not going to need to mess with that either. We're still connected. You don't need to mess with no sound settings. This is only here, once again, just so you can connect to the computer. Now, I'm going to go back to Steam here. Now, I'm going to load up Trovers real quick. Now, right now, if you had this, it would say Trover says a universe next up through your headset. Which is right now what it is doing. If you're looking through the headset. Right now, you probably want to see the Steam stuff. But now, you should see also what I'm seeing on the display. Now all the sounds should be there, all, everything should be working. You should be seeing, we recommend using a controller for this game, you little peanut. You should be seeing a lot of different little things floating and stuff. And you should be seeing it from the view of the actual thing. I'm trying to hold my hand on it so it doesn't cut off, but there you go. And all that, like I said, is straight up not being stretched by me but it's everything that I'm seeing you're, you're, you're seeing alright so we'll go ahead and quit the app Boop. and now I'm going to go to the virtual desktop so I can see what I'm doing I'm using the VR now uh, but basically that is how I personally take in record my oculus quest while playing steam games uh, if you did find this tutorial a little bit informative and it does help you with playing your Oculus Quest games, make sure you leave a little thumbs up. And uh, if you feel like helping the channel grow and get to 100 by the end of the year, feel free to hit that little subscribe button as well. Notification, that's up to you. If you'd like to be notified, click it. If not, don't feel pressured, my friend, because it's nothing they're doing it. I'm out there holding a gun to your head. As of yet, only when I get desperate. So, you know, don't make me desperate.